an example of how I might tell a patient about their pain. <coughs> I actually hate doing this. I hate doing this because I don't want you to use my words. You'll be much better at it than me. All I want to do is give, and I must admit it's targeted at my physio colleagues who might have short appointments, of just how you might break down some of the story. Okay? And I think there's hopefully something for all profession. So starting, tools and props, well, you might want to use explain pain, but I actually quite like or getting people to use, sit with a patient, nothing wrong with a bit of carbon paper, you can still get carbon paper, right, and draw, <laughs> don't tell me some of the youngsters don't know what carbon paper is. <laughs> <laughs> you can draw on it as a message, people say, well, what's wrong with a photocopier? Um, <laughs> which is probably also a modern I think, too, if you want to look at, at literature, if you were at the doctor, okay, so you're there Friday morning, you finally got in after four days, and you've got a gut ache, and you're sitting there with the doctor, and the doctor's got 6.2 minutes to try and work you out, and there'd be not much via psychosocial there. If you analyse your deep need at that moment, you would want four things. What are those four things you want? You've got your gut ache, you're sitting at the doctor. What are the four things? What's wrong with me? Can you start? 
start to see systems that might be coming in, perturbed. Well, you might have a sympathetic system in there, for example. It over-inflammation, perhaps. On with it. The sleeve goes tight. She thought she had a blood clot she for about four weeks. Thought she had a blood clot for four weeks. And that's a natural to think. There must be something in there. The hand goes hot and cold and writing's getting difficult. Can you see the motor system coming in now? Okay. Of course she has an MRI. Look at my MRI. She proudly shows me that the tendon insertion is a fit with increased vascularity and there's a partial tear of the extensor cuppy radialis brevis. So in my thinking I would have a little E to explain that. I've got a deep threatened that finding. Okay, so we've first seen everything aggravated, but she's classically boom busting, huh? I do the ironing on Friday night. It takes me four hours if my husband comes anywhere near me the next day I'll kick him in the balls. <laughs> we get a lot to talk about balls at this course, isn't there? <laughs> well, I hear Lorimer's discussions. He's quite rude. I'd like to apologise for Lorimer. <laughs> by the way. Um, at work, they've got her at work for just, uh, I think, a few hours a day. No golf and in limbo, but I'm waiting to see a rheumatologist in three weeks and maybe he's got the answer. Right, maybe. Um, no goal set, seeing multiple practitioners still, psychologists for depression and workplace is unpleasant. And one reason why I've kept this as a treatment patient for some time is she just said, you know, oh, well, before I went off work, I was the one who collected the money for the lottery syndicate. And now that I'm back in, I'm not even back at work, I'm not even in the syndicate. I thought, holy shit, I hope they don't win. <laughs> 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 Or whatever. Okay? And the threats I'll draw there 